Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss how to write a unit test case for the reactive forms. So in the Angular, when we are going to design any page like registration page or the login page that we can do either using the reactive forms or the template driven forms. So in this video, we will see how to write a unit test case for like the template is designed with the reactive forms. If you want to know more about the reactive forms, you can go to my Angular tutorial series where you can understand like how we implement the HTML form using the reactive form. So basically a reactive form is used to design the uh, like HTML page using the structure of the form in the component class and we create this form model using this form group form control or the uh, form arrays and we can also define the validation rules over the HTML controls like if I'm going to have an email address so over that if I want to put a validation control I can do that and if we are going to design a reactive forms then we have to import the reactive form module from the angular forms package and we have to define it inside the app module.ts file so these are the couple of the things uh, we should remind when we are going to design a form using the reactive form so let's go to the visual studio and see like what i have designed so here i am using the form group as a registration form here and ng submit like when we are going to click on the submit button then we are triggering this method and this method is defined here you can see it here now next thing is so i have taken couple of the div and first div is this and here i have taken the title like mr mrs miss so this one i have taken here and here i am checking like on the submit button it is containing the error or not error so these i am checking and the next is here you can see for the first name so this is basically like we are uh, checking like form control name here we have given the first name and here we are checking same for the like uh, the error like basically on based on the ng classes so these all are the is coming from the bootstrap and that bootstrap file we have defined inside this index.html so if you will go into the index.html so here i have defined this link so this is basically a bootstrap link now next thing here i have defined similar to this one as a last name and the form control name is the last name for the same now next thing same similar to that i have defined a email address and even here i have ch uh, checked here if you will see this is the like for checking it is an valid email address or not and similar to that one i have for the password here you can see i have for the password and another like i'm checking to check the confirm password and for this one is basically you can see i have created a one method here and that is the match method and here if you will find this match method so we are using this match method here and this method is the ng on it so in a bit we will talk about this component file as well so apart from that i have designed here like a button and another is the reset button so here you can see so when user will click on this submit so basically ng on submit we are going to trigger on submit button and that is defined inside this component.ts file so basically here first i have taken a one variable of the form group so this form group i have defined here now next thing like i have taken a one submit it is uh, like we will identify with this variable like we have click on this submit button or not and in the constructor we have taken a one object of the form builder and in the ng on in it what we are doing basically we are making this register form so this register form is we are doing using the form builder and we are assigning the validator so like if you have worked on the angular 8 and created the like form uh, like using the reactive form so you know like what all things we do here and like for this confirm password is basically what we have put the validator and this is the match so here you will see this is basically we are checking like our uh, previous password is matching or not matching and apart from that then we are getting this form registration it is basically returning the all the controls which we are having and on the ng summit what we are doing we are triggering one alert message from here like we are appending all the value control value to this one and then we are triggering the alert and on the reset is basically we are resetting all the uh, like all the form control value 
so if you will run this application and if you will go on the browser so it will look like this so it's basically registration like link and here you can see it form like this so if i will click so it is saying like all the fields are mandatory so you can select anything from here and here you can give any value so like this so and here i am giving so this if you want to see so 1 2 3 4 5 6 similar to this one so here also it is same and if i will click on this we can see our alert message and here all the value it is coming so for all this we are going to write the unit test case so for writing the unit test case we have to go into the registration component dot specific file and here first thing what we have to do so all these things are automatically generated because we are writing the unit test case for the respective file only the thing which we have to do we have to import this reactive form module so that is important for us so that we have to import it and after that we have to write the unit test case so first unit test case we are going to write let's see so we will write it for the first name so this is the like test case so basically what name i have given i have given as a first name check so here using this registration form so this is the basically an object which we are having here so if you have seen this is this variable we are having so through that we are getting the control so what is the control name we have given here so if you will see here for the first name we have form control name is this first name so that we are getting from here and then we are checking like it is in valid so at point of this time it will not be valid like it will be falsy and the reason is because we didn't set any value to this one that's why it is in mandatory field and it will be falsy and it is in required so that's why we are saying yes it will contain an error of the required and it will be truthy so let's run the test case and see what it gives the result so at point of this time it is basically like first we are taking the control and then we are checking either it is in valid or it is in required so based on that we have written to be falsy and to be truthy and we can see all the test cases passing as expected let's go on the browser and here we can see this is our registration component and here we can see our test case is passing as expected now next uh, test case we will write with the valid first name check so basically now here so what we will do we will set the first name so same we have taken first the control then we have assigned the value to that one as in first name and then we are checking like it's in valid so to be truthy so before we were not setting then it was be falsy and here we are checking that value whatever we set we set as a first name so it should be equal to the first name so now it is in four set uh, succeed it should be five because we have added this one so let's see what output it gives so we can see five test cases passing as expected and if we will go on the browser we can see our test case is passing here also so this is the way we can check with the reactive forms uh, like it is in required field then we can see with this or if we want to set the value and then with the value also we can see now next test case we will write for the email address so first test case we will write with the invalid email address so similar to the first name i have taken the email and then i have set the value but it's not a correct email address so basically what we are checking here it is in valid so it's not in valid so that's why it is saying to be falsy and here we are saying like this email contain the errors so it is saying true so now let's save this one and check here so basically um, like all the test cases similar first we have to take the control then either you want to set the value or you want to check, check the required field such kind of the uh, things operation you can do and according to that you can check the test case and we can see six test cases passing if we will go on the browser we can see here like it is giving the output as expected now next we will write if we will give the valid email address so with the valid email address so here i have taken first email control value then i have assigned a like correct value of the email address and then similar to that i am checking like at point of this time the error should be null so this is the way we can check with the valid email address also and now it's uh, six now it should be seven test case should pass at point of this time 
so this is the way we can write the test case for the reactive forms in the angular so we can see seven test case is passing if i will go on the browser like we can check like check valid email address now next test case we will write like when we click on the submit button so for that one what we have to do we have to set all the value to the all the control and then we will check like here if we will click so we will check with this it should be is matching with this or not so let's write the test case so here i have written it so first what i have taken i am checking like that field is invalid so at point of first time it will be invalid because we didn't put anything then i am taking the button like is basically a submit type in that button so i am taking by using the css then i am assigning all the control value which i am having and then next uh, what i am doing i am clicking on the on submit and then detect changes and then what i am expecting so when we will click on the button so we are setting this value to this one so same i am checking like whatever the value we are having here so this i am checking from here so what i have done basically so first i am checking like it is an invalid because first time we didn't set any value so it will be invalid then i am taking this button by css and then i am assigning all the values here you can see and then on the submit then detect changes and then i'm checking the value like it is um, like matching or not matching and we can see our eight text um, like test cases passing and if we will go on the browser we can see on the submit test case is passing as expected so this is the way we write the unit test case for the reactive form in the angular so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you